Valley News Live 10 at 10 continues with no wait weather. And here's a look at our tower cam time lapse for today in Fargo. We saw mainly sunny skies and we had that breezy flow from the south. Both those factors led to us being very warm for this time of year again. And that trend has gone on for the past couple of weeks. We're, we had our normal high near 40 degrees today and we are well above that. Here's our high temperatures close to 60 degrees at Fargo out toward uh, Grand Forks and Cavalier. 57 your high at Valley City. 62 at Jamestown. Detroit Lakes at 57. And Fergus Falls saw a high of 50. Nine degrees. Current temperature is not that bad for this time of night. We're 46 degrees right now from Crookston down toward Fargo. 48 Thief River Falls, 46 out toward Bemidji, and a temperature of 48 at Valley City. Wind speeds mainly between 5 and 15 miles per hour from the south, so we are keeping that warm flow. The Sisseton area is uh, 28 miles per hour, gusting to 37, so some of the windy conditions have been down there as we went through today, and that's continuing through tonight. Mainly clear skies uh, as you look across the region, and you have to go up toward Canada before you start to run into any clouds. It's actually a nice dry weather pattern. High pressures in charge of our forecast working its way away from us and as it does keeping us under plenty of sunshine and uh, we saw that flow from the south for today we're tracking this low pressure system moving well to our north this uh, cold front is very dry. You can see hardly any rain or snow out of it as it goes through the mountains of uh, western Montana. But it will get here as we go through overnight Sunday into Monday and hardly have any precipitation with it, just increasing the clouds. So as we go through the day on Sunday, low temperatures into the upper 30s and lower 40s, and then we see an increase in the clouds, but high temperatures into the upper 50s and lower 60s as we go through the day on Sunday. So planning your day for tomorrow, we will see temperatures start to get up there uh, by early afternoon highs in the lower 60s in the Fargo area mostly sunny skies and then we'll cloud up as we go through later on into the evening with that wind flipping around to the west elsewhere across the southern valley will be into the upper 50s and lower 60s sunny skies and warm and then uh, temperatures near 60 degrees across lakes country we're going to keep sunny skies warm a light breeze from the west mainly into the mid to upper 50s into northland minnesota and sunny skies mainly again into the mid to upper 50s as we make our way into the northern valley and then as we go through the day on monday we are going to to keep that flow from the south and temperatures will again warm up there as we will be into the upper 40s and lower 50s. Here's the photo of the day called Sunset on Fire. Thank you, Claudia, for this one. We use it in the background of the seven day forecast. And as we go through the day on Sunday, there's your high of 62, 53 on Monday, partly cloudy skies, partly cloudy Tuesday and Wednesday, mid 50s, upper 40s Thursday. Then a system comes through, start as rain, maybe turn over to some rain and snow across the region on Friday. High of only 37 and 34 under partly cloudy skies on Saturday. So what's the chance it's not going to hit Fargo? Because that's where we live. You know, I'd say about a 40% <laughs> chance it doesn't hit Fargo and goes to the north. So like Grafton and Grand Forks? Yeah, it could reach them. It could uh, be out toward Devil's Lake, can do out that way. Okay, we'll leave it for them. Yeah, Thanks, we'll Justin. be watching it through the week. So. <laughs> Thank you so much, Justin. Yep. Up next on Valley News Live, kids and dogs, what could they possibly be doing? We'll tell you next.